What's up guys and welcome back to the video on my channel and welcome back to Harrogate Town Fan TV. Hope you guys are doing well and enjoying having fans back at the football. It's great to see some noise back in the stadiums. Now on Saturday, Harrogate Town played Forest Green at home in front of just on, just over 400 fans. Now Harrogate Town looking to bounce back after their very disappointing 5-2 defeat at home to Scunthorpe United. Probably one of the worst performances we've ever had this season and we're looking to bounce back. Now, uh, today's episode, I've got a very, very special appearance from John O'Way, who's made a shed load of footage for me, and basically made a, a decent content for you guys of his experience at the game, with fans being back, so massive thank you to John O, and we'll, get, and we'll get some of his footage shown in the video later on, but let's go on to the highlights, here are the highlights for Harry Town versus Forest Green. It was a very positive performance, but we didn't get the result we wanted. I thought throughout the game, Harrogate Town played really, really well, and it was just mistakes that we were having that cost us the game realistically. Um, I thought Connor Kirby midfield played really, really well, had a really positive game in, mid uh, in midfield. I thought Brendan Kane was man of the match that day. He was honestly incredible, played really, really, really well. Um, and looking not to get a goal, but like I said, it was silly mistakes. It was a mistake from Ryan Bonnerfield out wide, and Lawler wasn't following his man. Easy tapping, and that was the game 1-0 for his green. Uh, disappointing to lose the game like that, but it's League League Two, it's EFL. We've got to be sharper than that. It's not that normally football anymore. We can't, we can't, uh, we can't create chances not uh, not pouncing them because that's the rush at the moment. We can't seem to score a lot of goals, which is very very worrying. Now let's get some fan reaction. Here is John Owen. Here is his experience and thoughts of the game on Saturday. Afternoon, all. Filling in for the chief today. It's the fifth of December, Saturday. On my way to the uh, Enviro event, it's the first time in 274 days that uh, fans have been allowed back into the ground. Got my programme for the collection, Forest Green Rovers. Let's see what today brings. So, we're at the ground. We're just queuing for a uh, temperature check. Masks on, as you can see. There we are. Covid secure entry. And we're in, and we're heading down to the stand. Grass pitch, first time fans will have seen town on a grass pitch in uh, three years or so. There's Belly, how we doing mate? So we've bagged uh, some of the uh, cushioned posh seats today in the new stand. 
Very nice. Got the media just behind us over there. Half time, nil nil. It's been a cagey affair, hasn't it, Nick? Uh, I think it's probably worth mentioning that these are fourth in the league. Uh, nil nil's probably a fair result so far. We've had how many pot shots? Two, three, three pot shots. Been a bit shot shy, I think, in general. Maybe someone should just think about having a swing. But uh, yeah, nil nil and uh, not much to report. You probably take a point against fourth in the league if you're honest, but uh, we'll see what the second half has to bring. Well, one nil, they're third in the league. You've got to look at it perspective wise, I suppose. We lost 1 0 to third in the league, they're in the automatic promotion places. We didn't have much to go off. Thought they were well organised. Uh, I think it's going to be quite a long slog this year. The aim clearly needs to be stay up, establish a club in the Football League and uh, push on from there. Massive thank you to Jono for that, and honestly, I completely agree with everything he said. Uh, we need a result very, very soon. Uh, we've got two big games coming up, more come away and extra away. Extra on Tuesday night, I'm glad I'm not going to that one. So, uh, we're only six points off the, off the playoffs and six points above the relegation zone. So we are smack bang in the middle. So in, in a way, these two games could decide our season. If we win the two games, we could, fight, we could push up the playoffs. If we lose two games, we could be in relegation scrap. We need results at the moment. We need to score goals. More come especially on Saturday. We need to get a result. It will be very, very tough. If we get a draw, I'll be happy. If we can somehow get four points out of these next two games, that will be main, important for us. I know Falcon was saying in his interview with ITV calendar that it's great to have fans back in the ground, but we're going to be in pressure. Thankfully, more come down fans in the ground, so that could be used to our advantage. But Exeter City, however, have got fans back, so that'll be a bit of a be quite hard for us to handle. But it will be interesting. I know we've got a squad to do it this season. I know there's rumours going around that we could be looking to buy, uh, bring in some new players. Uh, if I, like I said, Jack Diamond, if, you, if you're ever free, allowed to come back to the club, we miss you. Like I said, it's it's the it's EFL. We can't, we've got to take our chances when we can. We can't be going six seven shots of our goal we have to score so that's what we have to look at but uh it'll be very very important we've got a very very good squad so what else can we say we're good enough to be in this league we're, we're a lot better than some teams in this league we need to prove to people that we are in this league for a reason hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video massive thanks to john away for doing all the reaction and stuff like that honestly i can't thank you enough that was incredible what you've done uh don't forget to drop a like on the video like i said subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys very soon Bye bye